Where's your big boy clothes, Kev? I thought Monday was a work day. Monday is a work day, but it's four o'clock on Monday. Work is finished for the day. I am very slowly by foot, look at all those cars, approaching Peterborough train station. I'm gonna jump on a train going down to London to check out the new-ish YouTube space down at the new London Google HQ thing near King's Cross. I had all this planned in advance. The event was supposed to start at 6.30, so I'm on the 10 past five train to get into King's Cross at six to give me half an hour to grab a coffee and walk slowly round the back of King's Cross, get into Google. However, the email I've had today says the event actually starts at 10 past six and there's nibbles. Now, my train doesn't get in until six. I might miss out on nibbles. That's a bit of a problem. I've just had a look to see if I can get an earlier train because I'm here, my train doesn't leave for an hour and 10 minutes, but it doesn't look like that's going to be a goer. My ticket's only valid on the one train that it's on. For me to get a new ticket that leaves in five minutes time, that's going to be another 35 quid, which is more than I paid for my return initially. Any other train between now and when mine departs arrives after mine does, because it's all the slow trains. So I guess I'm just going to be cutting it a little bit fine. It does, however, give me an hour now to sit in Starbucks here at Peterborough Station and do the writing that I may not have woken up early to do this morning. Obviously, because I knew I'd have this hour now. Yeah, that one wasn't my train. And thinking about it, probably shouldn't stand directly under the speaker. I have just written 1,800 words for the book though. It's nearly five o'clock. I'm really quite bored now. I want to get on the train. Looking forward to seeing what kind of nibbles they have over at YouTube Space. Five to six, we're in five minutes early. That's no bad thing. I think I just need to go out the front, loop round in the building I'm aiming for. It's over there behind this train, I think. If my view of Google Maps is right, it's around this corner. Right, what do we reckon? That way? Or that way? I suspect it's the big shiny building with all the windows. Not that one. That's St Pancras. The one opposite it. And then it could be that one over there. Hmm. Now, I'm not a navigation expert, but, and I don't even know if you can see it or not, but I suspect that big red play button in front of me probably has something to do with where I want to be. Well, it's safe to say I found it. There's a queue! Well, I managed to stand in the wrong queue for 20 minutes outside before I asked the person in the queue near me and they said they were here for some music event. And I came through the next door and here I am. Late, but also one of the first here. Unless there were several waves. It's all very shiny. Dr Pepper Zero, on ice, very important. That's one noisy room. There you go, let's have a look. That's a lot of YouTubers in one room. A couple of interesting talks, splendid stuff. Pizza, pizza is good. Two most interesting conversations, both around Sproglet. Conversation number one, a man wants to give him a ride in a rocket car. Yeah, all right, we'll go to Bristol so he can have a ride in a rocket car. Less exciting, but probably more valuable for him. Someone else 
who specialises in sensory toys and education for special needs children ish. So, both very cool, officially worth coming to the event. I can't really do anything in there though because it's so loud and so dark. But I'll try and get some try and get some footage of the whole Google building on the way out. We're in the Google London HQ rather than the YouTube thing which is downstairs around the corner a little bit. So I'll get some footage on the way out, probably. I'm the, then one of only two people in there carrying a massive camera around as well. So I officially look like the vloggy nerd. <laughs> Snacks, pizza, cold drinks with empty jars, cakes, pizza. Right, a couple more slices of pizza, a few more interesting conversations. This is, tell you what, you get these notifications pop up to come to events like this. I've always ignored them before. I would recommend you don't ignore them. If you're in and around the London area, come along to one of these. It's actually been quite good, even for a social recluse like me who doesn't like to talk to people. It's, it's been a valuable experience. I've got my train leaves in 45 minutes. I'm about 10 minute walk away. I'm gonna stick it out for another 15 minutes or so. What I wanted to show you, and the reason I came out here, I don't know if you can see the on the windows we have the little pixel art things which are done with post-it notes or well, they look like they're done with post-it notes they are all over this building so this is the Google London building and it's so cool if I ever have to get a real job again I want to work here in case you're wondering what the toilets at Google look like their soap is fuller than any soap I've ever seen in a toilet, even at home. There aren't many feelings in life as uncomfortable as walking out of a toilet holding a camera on a tripod. <sighs> Never mind, eh? Right, back into the room for the final 15 minutes. Last can of Dr Pepper Zero, all mine. You know that scene in Forrest Gump where he drinks as much free Dr Pepper as he can get down his neck? That's basically the story of my evening but with Dr Pepper Zero. How many of these is it reasonable to drink in one evening when they're free? Right, it is now 25 to nine, my train home is at nine o'clock. The lifts are out here. I can't use them because Google lifts don't have buttons in them. So you need the magic buttons on the outside. But we'll figure out how to get out of here, eventually. I will not miss my train home this time. The last time, the last time I came to anything in London was that TV thing last year. Missed the train home. Right, this is, this is looking like a, like lift activity. This is promising. This building is mad. heading down. I'll jump in. So this is outside Google. There you go. Hold on. And there's your proof. So the way I came in is closed, which is a bit of a problem, because I need to be on my train in 20 minutes. I think I'm walking towards King's Cross at the moment. I mean, I'm within spitting distance of it, so I'd like to think I can't go wrong. In fact, that's it in the distance. We're fine. That was a really, really valuable event. I didn't know what to expect coming into that. It was worth it just for the fun of being at Google, more than anything. They had lots of nice pizza, but no, really valuable event. I'll take my little thing off now, so people don't think I'm a nerd. 
he says wearing a portal t-shirt no really good would recommend it to anybody met a lot of interesting people hopefully you'll see some of them over the, on the channel over the next few months I now need to get back to Peterborough on the train I'm not going to get home till about 10.30 tonight and then I have to edit all this together and get it released so if this vlog makes it out at 7 o'clock in the morning as normal understand that it was powered by free Dr Pepper Zero and if it hadn't been for all of the chemicals currently coursing through my system it never would have seen the light of day there you go see we're back at King's Cross now that was so easy that was actually easier than the route I took to get there in the first place I'm now going a weird colour because that thing's behind me so all the light is going weird on my face there's a swing in there London's mental and we are back at King's Cross with with 20 minutes to spare which is really cool I nearly walked into that post you could see it I couldn't because I was looking over there someone asked me the other day how I managed to vlog and walk at the same time there was your evidence that sometimes it's a struggle stop talking Kev go sit down start editing this thank you very much for watching I need to run and find my train there we go and the benefit of being near a boots that's open at this time of night in the station we have a little medicine syringe that can do one mil so Spoglet can take his medicine even easier now back in Peterborough most of the vlog edited on the train which is a bonus I might actually get to bed at a reasonable hour looking back over some of that footage oh how I've been influenced by Spoglet over our recent vlogging adventures I don't know if I've ever done anything as weird as being in the building of a company like Google and just filming their lift going up and down. It didn't even cross my mind what I was doing at the time. But I filmed the whole time we were coming down in that lift in Google with a Google employee in the lift. He better appreciate that one. Seven quid to park my car. It's almost as much as my train cost.